Hey, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. If you remember in the past episode, there was this duo that came and tried to raid me and Matt. It was an offline attempt. Me and Matt ended up getting on because of our smart alarms going off. So then we get on, and in the end, the guys ended up swimming away with all their boom and just kind of giving up, right? Now skip ahead around like two hours later after me and Matt repair up the base and get off and whatever. Then they end up coming back again. That's going to be where this video begins. So yeah, enjoy the video. I'm F1 killing and spotting outside real fucking quick. Mm-hmm. So did they, did they use MLRS? I need to they're in their mini. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're gonna fly away. They have walls. What do none of these sergeants that this other fucking base have? Ammo man, what the fuck? Dude, the fucking cheating pussy. He's 100% walling, dude. The second I stood up. Same fucking fuckers, bro. Holy fuck, man, they are lit up in that fucking alley. <laughs> I only hit one bullet out of all the... I want to see what I just now got him down to because I was Glock bursting. I got two headshots and a body shot. Good. Wait, dude, one was down to 5.2. I might have just killed him then. Possible. I got one down to 5.2 and one, one down to 61. Combat log. They just landed over there. Yeah. Yeah, I killed one. Oh, shit. Uh, the other dude's flying, though. I wonder if he had to leave anything. I'll go, I'll go try and find the body. I know. Here's his body. Okay. Wow, there's actually some stuff left on him. Nothing crazy, but... 380 low grade, stack of bullets, pretty much a full road sign set. Um, <laughs> they actually brought a diving tank and fins. I don't even care if we get raided at this point, they're just gonna keep coming back. I'm going to bed after this, so. Oh, me too. I think that our neighbors might be getting fucking raided. What am I seeing over there? Like, I've been hearing turrets shoot over there too. I'm literally seeing a 2x2 two two base next to their shit with lights on in it. What the hell is happening on here? You see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're definitely gonna get raided. Man, dude, this fucking server has, like, these squads, dude, just nighttime, dead time, where they just wipe out shit. Yep, I don't think I'll ever touch this server again. That was their turret shooting at me. Gotta go over here and, like, see a name or something, I don't know. Unless this is just, like, their base and it's just, like, a raid defense base. Or... Oh, yeah, I know, dude, this turret shooting at these guys. <laughs> I need to get up here and see these guys' names. Do we have a glass window to put back oh, on this? Gillermo! No way. It's the guys that originally raided us that are about to raid our neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not joking. They got raided. Didn't they? Uh, Gillermo? Oh no, he wasn't. You never knew the... for sure like where he is. Master. Yeah, man. Oh my god. Dude, you wanna know something that's funny though? They have a fucking full stone raid base, we could get the fuck in here. Dylan, it's so late. It's late, it is. I'm just saying though, like... Ah, uh, let's send it then. It's Did something to fucking do, man. Use some shit up, right? Just so that the other guys don't get it. Nope, zero turrets on their raid base. And they're just like literally running over to a turret, dying naked over and over, man. Do we have four rockets? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, man, we can fucking get all this shit. <laughs> Thing is, two, we're gonna get raided anyway. I don't know if you agree with me. All the profits that we get from this, if we get like 10 C4, we put it all inside the one by two. You down? Okay. Now we can go here, slay out real quick. It's gonna be easy peasy. Mm -hmm. We even try to seal or just fucking book it with shit. Um, I'm down to book it with shit, man. We don't really have time to be locking ourselves into a base, you know? Yeah. So it's a risky play, but it's worth it. No fucks given here. Fuck, I'm gonna. I just not saw one of them running left from the from the fucking raid base, dude. Here, man, go out there. Um. One moment. I saw one of them running left, and that's really confusing me. I hope they're not leaving this shit somehow, dude. Like I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking bolt it left. Imagine if they're just walling and we just die. <laughs> this Gillermo guy, man, he has 460 hours, like. Yeah. That's, yeah, like, that's the G-Solitude guy. That base has lights on in it. Is it them? No way. 
Uh, it's possible for that to be them. Like, that base makes sense for the raid base that was next to our shit at one point. But they were raided the same day we were. They, they might have got raided after they raided us. I don't know. I mean, like, if that's their base, dude, I don't know if they're going to have boom in here, dude. But we can see, I guess. Fuck it, dude. We're going to get offline anyways. Yeah, there's a pig conveniently at the back for you, so. Okay, nice. It's walking away. <laughs> He's cutting down trees over here. Kill them. I'm leaving you for a second so I can loot this guy. Yep, killer mount. This is definitely where they fucking live. That's crazy, dude. Right under our nose. Well done, dude. You had good rockets on him. Four. Yeah, dude, right here. This fucking box. Loot. Get the fuck out, okay? They are pissed. I got five C4 on me, two rockets. Christ. Okay, well done right there, Matt. Easy oh. peasy, man. That right there, well, as long as we get away. That's revenge on the guys that originally raided us. I don't think we run right into the one by 2 They're going to see us going there, probably. We don't need to, you yeah, know. Oh, careful with the turrets here. Let's not fuck up. Good call. <laughs> Imagine, and then we die to the turrets and the original guys come back and loot all the shit. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> just scared the fuck out. Yeah, me too, a little bit. <laughs> the fuck in here. You could probably store all this shit inside of a small box and an airlock for all that we know, uh, dude. The MLRS. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, well, hey, man, as soon as we can store this shit inside the one by 2 I mean, you can both go to bed with smiles on our faces now, okay? I'm gonna rock it off that, dude. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can take my shit and kind of combine it with yours. I didn't get too much out of there, but yeah, I got an HMLMG, AK, LR, Bolty, cameras. Yeah, 20, 20 rockets, 5C4. That's dope. Who knows, man? Like, like, maybe the guys that are trying to raid us, right? Like, we can't act like they're super happy about what's happening. They're probably mad that we keep on getting on for all that we know. I mean, you think that would deter them? Oh, they got Rust Plus. Yeah. I feel like they could give up. Like, at least tonight. Like, I don't know. Man, I feel like there's, like, a good 40% chance we get on here tomorrow not raided. Like, I feel like we need one turret up top at least to do that. Because if they can just land up there, they'll probably just go for it. Can we have a compound turret up there? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so Gillerma was the original guys that raided us. And Matt was constantly saying, they live over there, they live over there inside the roof camp. They don't fucking live over there, they live over there. It's not, again, like I'm not throwing Matt under, underneath the bus being like, fuck you, Matt, you suck. It's like, I, I didn't know that they lived there. But I knew that that guy did not live over there. Well, I didn't know, but based off the knowledge that I had and everything, right? Don't like. me here. So after that point, we ended up moving a turret that was down inside the compound to up on top of our roof just for some roof defense if they're trying to minicopter over again. But not only that, we ended up moving all of the boom that we just now had stolen from those guys into a 1x2 stone base outside just to keep it away from our base just because we feel like we're going to get offline raided, right? So Matt gets off for the night, and I get off for the night too, but I stay logged in on Rust because Matt's been saying, hey, this guy might be cheating, he's fucking walling, whatever, right? Matt's been calling this guy out a lot. So I thought, hey, I'm just going to stay logged in, standing up inside the base. Maybe it'll make them not raid us if they are cheating, right? And uh, they ended up returning again, as you can see. So then I got up, and, well, they ended up leaving. Not really much to say about it. They just came over here, started incense rocketing, then never showed up again, from my knowledge. And so now the footage that is going to be continuing this video is when I get on the next day by myself. So, yeah. All right. After probably four and a half hours of sleep, are we raided? Click, 17 hours of upkeep. I really don't know. That bolty turret's still over there. Got this turret still right here. I'm leaving a garage door open right here because I'm a silly ass goose. Move down. We're actually not raided. Matt's gonna be fucking shocked. Say what? Unless they just went to the bottom of our base or something. Yeah, because we ended up putting a lot of our shit down here because they were trying to top down us, so it's like, okay. You guys are just going to top down this fucking six, or like five, six-story base. Why not go to the bottom? So, 
<laughs> Man, I just ended up putting a lot of shit down at the bottom here. So yeah. Ooh. Oh shit, and our one by two gets hit. And that's where we put all the boom from the guys we stole over there at that base. Because guess what? It works out a lot of the time, guys. It works out a lot of the time. You would be really surprised. Me and Matt have been putting shit inside of like a one by two, a two by two near our ship for a while now, right? We've been doing it for a fucking while. And then it's always working. Not this time though. Not this time, of course. They knew. I'm just out here trying to get some metal going right now, though. It's all that I'm doing. We need some, uh, we need high coal more than anything, but also metal frags wouldn't hurt. Woo! Metal's coming in hot right now. Dude, the soul, oh my god! Armored door right there. I mean, it's next to excavator, so it's probably just someone's excavator base that could be empty, but still. It's not an excavator base that has, like, windows, so, I don't know, like... I don't really know what to think about that. Like, if I'm having to guess, right, on who exactly raided our 1x2 that had all the shit inside of it, I would obviously guess that it's the guys that were trying to raid us last night that never ended up actually fully raiding us. Like, they started a couple different times, but then Matt, me and Matt got on each time to stop them. And they just flew away and hit away, whatever. Like, obviously, I'm going to be putting my money on that those guys raided that shit, right? Just because I feel like that's the right thing to do. But, like, what if it was just, like, some random solo player just raiding bases in random spots? Just smaller bases, you know? I hope that's the case, and I hope that he landed on all that because that would be dope if a solo got that. Yeah, I need to just go back home right now. Oh, yes, the electric furnace wall. You got to love it. Thank you to whoever told me that you can place these on a shelf. It is kind of nice. Um, the shelf is kind of a large thing, so it, you know, it has its pros and cons, but I mean, like, we can still move around it and stuff. I feel like it would have looked, looked better if I moved these things a bit closer, though. There's just like this big empty gap of space on the top and bottom of the shelf, <laughs> you know. Oh, dear, and actually, we actually have a new item store. What's going on in here? Hard suit pants and hard suit hoodie. Interesting. Everything here is pretty basic, though. Like, there's nothing really much to say the hoodie and pants are probably the two best things here even though i'm not really like i'm not like oh my god did i love this hoodie and pants i don't really care about a lot of this stuff here honestly um like a pug on a gun it's like i'm not hating it's like make whatever skids you want to make you happy right but it's like a pug on a gun i don't know like it just just seems like a bit of a stretch like we might as well just put like like we might as well just put like i mean like we're already making frog furnaces just put a little fucking frog on the side of a gun then just put ribbit like Oh my god, it's so good! Like, is it? Is it really that good? Copper AR, basic. Good boy, SMG, basic. Chemical burn, python, basic. I mean, like, it's all just kind of basic. I'm not really into much of that. Honestly, the frog furnace might be my favorite thing, surprisingly. <laughs> Fuck the toxic door. It's too, like, stay away from here. There's claw marks on my door. Ah, don't mess with us. And then Dragon Rage. I mean, the Dragon Rage Crossy isn't bad. You know, like, you can't disrespect the Dragon Rage Crossy. It's a simple black and gold crossy not bad hard suit hoodie and pants are solid i mean it's an okay shop i'm not gonna get into the ratings right now just because they're not gonna be the best but yeah actually man this boat is beat up it's gonna be slow hopefully we don't end up starting to get chased down by a boat i mean worst comes worse i jump out put on the diving tank you know it's not it's not a big deal underwater labs here i come the power of the dark side. That was an okay emperor impression, I feel like. I've actually never tried saying that. That was okay for my first time, like... I mean, I don't know about ever, maybe I said it before, but that wasn't too bad, guys. Later, bitch. So I just want to let you know that I am kind of sorry for what I just... Oh. Why are you naked over here? Cindy? Why, why, why? I don't understand. Ah, uh, I'm not too sure. That's a lot of meds, though. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, almost made it. Yeah, I'm just gonna be taking this boat. Already has low grade in it, plus it's... Yeah, it's better durability than my shit, so... Um, I don't know why you're naked out here on the water, though, you know? Like, whether if you're naked or not, people are gonna... F oh, there's actually a boat already here. We're risking it, though. No fucks given, guys, okay? We don't give a fuck. 
Uh, let me just get up here and just put some of these meds away, though, real quick. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go. There's a bot over there. I think that we're completely in the clear and we are just fine, okay? That's definitely what the... That's definitely what the case is here. For sure, for sure. No doubt. And actually, I needed a fuse, and I forgot to bring one, and the guy conveniently actually had one for us, which is pretty cool. That is nice. Here is, we take that. Alright, no high call, and... I mean, I'll take a camera. That's cool, I guess. Not the worst thing that I've ever gotten in my life. Another camera, okay. I mean, it could have went a lot worse, I feel like. Better not be a trillion bots right here above this ladder right here, game, because sometimes you put, like, three right up here, and it's like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, dude, I'm actually getting some decent pulls here. I'm not going to lie. What, what all do I get for recycling a medium battery? Um, yeah, no, like, no high call. That'll give me, like, two or three high call. Fuck that. That's terrible. You want to get into this room now? There's some high qual. See, game, that's all they really have to give me. I'm not asking for too much, I don't think. Ah, right, well, I mean, hey. That was an okay run right there, I'm not gonna lie. Huh, do I just want to go out just on, like, a very quick roam? Like, it actually kind of sounds like fun, yeah. Seeing this hot air balloon over here, that might be landing soon. It would be cool if I could get over there next to them as they land. I'm wondering if I should solo raid this 2x2 two two up here that has an armored door. I think that I might try. I mean, I think that I could successfully raid it. It's not... I don't really think that it's going to be like this super difficult task to offline raid a 2x2 two two that I can instantly seal up if I hit TC, but... Let them land, game. Let them land. They're confused on, like, what they're even doing, I think. Alright, well, here goes nothing. He's dead, cat. Jesus, took long enough for me to fucking line up a shot. Stupid-ass fucking pig being annoying. Surprise, surprise. This guy's name is Gay. Ah, uh, yep, and there goes his fucking balloon. His gun's probably in there. That's what's fucked up. You know? Unless the guns fall out of it, but I don't know. Yeah, it's right here. My bad, my bad. So, so far on this server with streamer mode names, I've seen Gay and Gaylord. Like, those are, like, set streamer mode names by the game when you turn streamer mode on, for those that don't know. Like, I don't know, man. It's just gay everywhere, you know? So, it's a single door, and then it's a double door right behind it. Yes, double door there, and then... Shrock stands up kind of weirdly. I don't know. This game feels like it's lagging, but yet again, I've had it open like for probably around like 18 hours straight. Not that I've been on here 18 hours straight, but I like stayed on all night, like just, like just standing up inside of our base to make sure that like if the guys are ESPing, that maybe like it'll spook them or something. I don't know. And hey, it kind of worked. We didn't get raided. That means something. Like I don't know. They had second thoughts. Probably just raided the one by two, and they were just like, oh man, dude, this is like all their boom. <laughs> I yeah, mean, like, there's not even, like, a double door frame inside this thing, man. I'm guessing that if I just boom through, like, right here, like... Wait a minute. Yeah, that's also... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to come over here and just 2C4 through the top of this and bring stuff over to seal it. Do a quick solo raid on this thing. Now, again, it's probably just a fully open inside, like, excavator base that's just empty. But I'm down to C, right? Like, let's find this out. Alrighty, well, uh... <clears throat> We're pretty much all ready to go. Bring in a saw with some uh, incense bullets with some normal 5.5 on the side of the incense bullets. A little bit of stone to seal, a door to seal, wood to seal. Obviously, I'm not bringing a TC because we're not doing the best on wood, so I don't really want to bring a TC with me. Uh, plus, I feel like the TC here might just be unlocked again. Like, this base might be completely empty. Like, I feel like there's a higher chance of that than it actually having stuff, but I still want to take the risk. And I have a molly to destroy the TC if it is locked. Yeah, let's just go do this. Let's just get it over with, you know? Uh, let me actually just see if I have a ladder inside here, though, because I'm probably going to need, like, a ladder. Yeah. 
Probably gonna need, like, at least one ladder inside this thing. Ooh. Shit. Fucking Bolty shooting over there, man. Damn. These guys have eyes on so much over there, and they're just... I, I would have to bet my money that they're just sitting up there. The excavator's not even running and they're just sitting up there. Okay. Well, I'm hearing these gunshots for the first fucking time being over here. And it's, of course, when I have C4 on me, but I should still be able to seal up the base fast enough. I should be... I should be just fine. Oh, yeah, no, dude. They're just killing the bots so that they can take excavator. Oh, shit, man. They're gonna be taking it at nighttime? Okay. I might have to counter. Just get the fuck in here, just like right now, this second. You know, like, no fucks given, guys. Let's just go, alright? Okay, well, we got TC. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Definitely just an excavator base, but that's something. I mean, I'll take that. Boom, there we go. What's all inside, TC? Hey, I mean, it is an excavator base. It's exactly what the fuck we thought it was. It's okay, right? I mean, it's just gear. We don't necessarily need gear like that, but we can always offload all this gear for sulfur. The thing is, there's a lot of fucking stacked-ass teams on here that are selling shit for cheap. I mean, this could just be, like, our excavator base, because I'm going to grief the, you know, like, their front door and uh, get a new TC down as well, so. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't stop leaving the door open right there, by the way. What the hell are you thinking? I could probably go over there and kill whoever this Bolty guy is. I don't know if he's there solo. I mean, I highly doubt it, but... I, th I like, like, I definitely have, like, a bit of a chance against whoever's over there. I know that. I'm just gonna be putting down a bag real quick for Mr. Matthew. I'm seeing that guy up there. That's a player. I mean, he looks like he's solo on the place, but I wonder if he has, like, a teammate roof camping somewhere. Two of them are here. Although one footstep definitely sounds like a bot. Ah, oh, that bot's dead. Aw, oh, fuck. Now he dropped down to the recycler? You gotta be kidding me. I'm just going in circles with this fucking guy. Alright. Now is when I just book it the opposite way of all excavator bases, because, well... That feels like the safest thing to do. Carson, uh, that was his name. Don't really know what to think about that. I've never seen his name. Could be Solo, could not be. I don't really know. I was able to just lurk up on him. Though. I feel like the. I mean, I don't know how he felt comfortable there just now, but actually, small oil rig is respawned. I might just depot all my shit inside this base right now and just spawn at home and leave on a boat and go counter that. That sounds like fun. Although I'm not gonna have my homie Matt there, or my homie Matt on the cams, so. It'll be a solo experience. I might just go and just take oil with key cards right now. I just cuz. Just go like has the AK. I'm gonna fucking do it, dude. Who cares? It sounds like fun. Actually, we do have a shit ton of HMLMGs. I guess it'll take these. Yeah, fuck it. Honestly, I'm just gonna take one of these. I will bring a face mask as well, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and get all suited up right now. All right, there we go. Suited up. Beautiful. All right. Let's go do this thing. Time to move up. People are here, though. So, um... Let me just put those cards away real quick. Hopefully they didn't just see me. Aw, oh, shit, man. Doc bot's alive, man. It's minicopter guys, I think. Okay. Well. Shit. I'm not seeing anything, though. Like, I don't know where these guys are at. I'm kind of confused. 
I'm just gonna push up and get aggressive, I guess. I don't know. that. Only if I had a suppressor. Yes, so there's two of them, Tommy and MP5. It's like, I have confidence, but those are like some guns where like, it is going to be a bitch to kill them for sure, and just because it's SMGs, you know, SMGs are a bitch to fight. No matter what gun you have, like, MP5 close range can shred, same thing with uh, Tommy close range. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this bot. Like, let's just get aggressive and just fuck some shit up, dude. Whoever they are, man, they're being fucking quiet, I can tell you that much. Definitely being very, very quiet. I'm gonna lie, these guys are being very, very passive. Which is kind of making me feel safe. Like, with how weird... I mean, like, they're rats, right? Like, there's, it's like they're just literally being stationary, not moving a muscle, you know? <clears throat> if I have to guess, they're both holding stairs. That's the easiest assumption to, to make here in this situation. I still have a bot at the bottom. I still have Doc Bot and one going around that floor underneath me, which is nice. So I have my bottom kind of covered. i to be careful of that angle right there, but... Um... Hmm... They had killed this bot right here, so like they were kind of like working their way down to a degree. Never looted this bot. I think one's like probably like crane and one's like maybe helipad. I don't know. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, so they're both tip top. Tommy MP5 though, so. I mean, like I have confidence here. Like I feel pretty confident, but it's just, you know, like I'm analyzing this whole thing, trying to figure out their locations and. Yeah. They are being very fucking bad. Like, they might just both be hiding in the same spot, just in, like, a fucking corner. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think about this. Right? There's not really a reason for one to just be sitting up here. So if there's one just sitting behind this crate up here and he just kills me as I go up, I'm going to be really, really shot. It's like, GG's cool, but, like, it... I mean, to a degree, it does make sense to be right here if you know about this angle right here to get up at, but... You're dead, bitch. Fuck you. Unless it is just a solo Tommy guy and I just heard MP5 shots from bots, but... I have a very strong feeling that that's not the fucking case. Any copter guy came here solo, guys? What are the odds, you think? I mean, but like, the passiveness for it kind of makes sense. You know, it can't act like it doesn't. From a passive standpoint, with how passive these guys have been, it does make sense for him, for that to be the only guy here. I think that's it, dude. Is he? Yeah, I mean, he has the cards. I think he's alone. It's like, I don't want to assume things too quickly and play like an idiot, for sure, you know? Like, I don't want to do that, but... I killed the guy that happened to have the cards. This guy's name is Brenda. Never seen this name before. But I don't know, like, heli helipad's kind of a good spot for a solo at this place, so I... I'm honestly pretty convinced that we're good to go and that we're safe. I really am. I think that we're good to go. So, I'm just gonna move on with my life and just kind of assume that I'm okay. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, I might get shot in the back by an MP5 guy any second. If so, that's my fault completely, and I should have expected it. And... Yeah, you know, for sure. Ooh, hello there, auto turret. How are you doing? And laptops. Did you just, like, teleport, like, through the wall of it? Oh, my God, to the hike wall. Going and calling the heavies here, I guess. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm in. It's actually pretty big that the dude up there had a minicopter for me to take as well, man. Like, this has actually been a pretty good solo session. This is the solo episode in the duo series, you know? We've done a raid. We've went labs. Killed a little bit of people, too. Like, 
I don't know. Like, I, like, like, there's just been a good mixture of like grind, commentary, and PvP. We've won every fight. Not that our fights have been that hard, though, to be fair. You know, they, they've all been 1v1s. There we go. Yep. What all do you got, Heavy? Good stuff. I'm not going to lie. Bad timing right there for that bot. It's fine though, because, well, we have an HMLMG, so an HMLMG can solve all of your problems in life. Another spasm, man. It's two spasms in a row. So that's. I've killed one, two down there, three, four, five, and then is there a sixth? I don't know. I forget. I don't know why I still, like forget sometimes on if there's a... Uh... I just not heard on what...